Pablo was the greatest dog you could ask for. Pablo was always there for me. He had his ups and downs. But most of all, he guarded my sheep, which was the best part. If you could have a seat, please, that'd be nice. Pablo told me a lot of great stories. One including Bark. That was a good story. You guys might not know him as much, but he, he, I, I have not much else to say other than he was a fantastic dog. Now, for a short video, we'll have a seat and we'll watch it for remembrance of Pablo. And um, I'm starting to mine over here in this little cave cavern over there, um, but also mostly when I was recording before this, if you can hear him. Come on, little buddy, you can do it. Listen, just wait, just wait. Oh, you did it. Hey! <laughs> hey, buddy. We got a little companion, buddy. Now, I picked out a baby because I like, I kind of like the idea of having a little pup and letting him grow up with us in our adventures. I know you want some food, but I can't, I can't feed you. You're too full. Now, um, he's going to be our little buddy throughout and forever. I thought of a name. I kind of like Pablo. I've always picked Pablo when I was a child for like little pets and stuff, so he's going to be Pablo for us. They said under villages are strongholds. Now, we're about to go test this theory out. You are staying here, little buddy. You are not ready for adventuring. You're going to be with me forever. We'll not lose you be a sad day if it does happen but <laughs> I'm gonna try to protect you He's so cute anyway oh man that was a nice little video I found though for Pablo <laughs> like when I first found him um well not found him well I, I think I did find him I don't know how I got him as a puppy I can't remember that um but yeah I, I found that and I thought I'd throw it in here um Billy thanks for coming out to the funeral appreciate it much Let's move on to the burial of Pablo. As you can see back here, uh, I created him his own little section, of course, with a little open gate. And it all looks new, of course, because this is kind of like a new burial ground. Jimmy, thank you for coming, of course. Appreciate it lots. Uh-huh. I know, I miss him too. But as you can see, I created him a nice little tomb here. Pablo, July 15th of 2014, believe it or not, to January 20th, 2016. I found those dates... Uh, that one was from when, from that video you guys just saw, um, and this one is to the one episode I realized that he was no longer here, so, yeah, I got this nice little place in here, um, I guess we can go ahead and do the proper burial for him, <laughs> when I say that, I mean, actually, just do this, I have, <laughs> I don't know why I did this, but, oh no, we're in the hole, I'm not dying, well, I don't want to, okay, <laughs> we'll just go ahead and do this basically I just kind of made a nice little tomb for him to rest in you can go right down in there Pablo with your bones and uh just lay this slab over him he is now resting in peace oh good old Pobs alrighty <laughs> that's that <laughs> um Jimmy you can go home now now, I kind of liked this. Uh, I've been working on the graveyard, of course, some more. Um, I got a lot more tombstones around, just kind of randomized, of course. Um, I got this back here. It's kind of the same thing as Pablo's back there, but older. Um, and, yeah, that means it's kind of been here for a while. Uh oh I don't have any pressure plates for it. But, yeah, I have another like tomb in there, of course. Got some more back here. Um, just got some all over the place. And then, of course, I created a pathway back here. You got some more tombs. And then, of course, the same style of a gate kind of for that. So that's basically the graveyard. It's basically done. Um, of course, if there's any more, like, deaths in the world of something that is dear to us, we will do that. I'm kind of curious what's over this way. Uh, Actually, I think it's like we were actually going to build over that way uh, when we started this world, but I don't think we did. Um, no, it's funny as well. Remember that giant cloud that's always happening over our world? Look, I figured out what it is. When I turn off fancy graphics to get the normal water I like, watch. 
Oh gosh, that's just like one giant cloud. That's that's the only crappy thing about it. Which I actually kind of like this a little bit better. I just don't like the giant cloud, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Um, but yeah, that's that, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining the funeral with me. Uh, this is like my first iron golem I've created, too. I think I created one before, but he despawned. We'll see how long he lasts. But uh, today's episode, I have no idea what we're doing, of course, again. I'm just going to be doing all kinds of sorts of things. So uh, let me go ahead and get some stuff ready, and we can go off on our adventure through... Our world, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> See you in a second. Aha! Uh -huh. Another village! Actually, I've found this one before. I wonder if it's still populated. This one is actually way far away from my house. <gasps> hey! Wow. What do you know? It's pretty surprising. The reason I came over here, actually, is because we did not check this one for stronghold so i got my this is a nice little area look at these mountains too whoa <laughs> i didn't even notice that one um but i brought my tnt mine cart and stuff like that because uh, instead of digging around forever i'm just going to x-ray under the ground and see if there's a stronghold so uh yeah i'm going to go ahead and hop right on that and see if i get lucky There is the village right there. Um, I went straight down below the, the uh, what is it, the well. I'm not seeing anything. Dang it. I was curious what this is. Look at that. I don't get why I can see so much, like, end, or the, what is it, bedrock. Is that like in a cave? That's kind of funky, but yeah, I don't think we got lucky on this one. Um. Now, I did generate my world in the time when they added the thing where Stronghold should be under villages, just for a quick little feature. And, um, I don't know, I guess we're just not getting lucky. I might have to go check some places far away from here, if you know what I mean. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Gosh! It's just dangerous down here. Yeah, so, um, if I want to do that, I think I know where a few more villages are, but they're so far away, it's like crazy, like crazy, crazy far. I want to see what this was all about down here. You guys saw that, all that bedrock in like a cave? Was that actually a thing? Now I can't find it for some reason? Okay, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, I, there's this cave up here as well. I think I'm going to explore this. I haven't explored a cave in so long, guys. I need to get resources back and going again. So I'm going to mine this out. And then uh, after that, I'll head back home. Or I'll update you guys when I find something. So bear back. Alright, so I made it back home. It's actually the next day. Um, I just had to stop recording there and do some stuff. So here I am again. <laughs> uh, I, after that little uh, thing at the village over there. It's over in this direction, just to let you know. I actually went off adventuring and I got lost forever and traveled way far that way all the way around and came back this way. <laughs> oh, it was a nightmare. I didn't have a compass or anything and it was it was awful. I just had to find my way home. But um, I think I'm going to try to do something different today. As you guys know, I've been neglecting interior design in my house. Like That's just one thing I haven't focused on in a while. And I think I actually am going to start in this room right here. I think I want this room in particular to be maybe a little dining room that's what I'm thinking or like a just a dining hall I want to have one long table in here and just a bunch of chairs I'm gonna give it a try see what I can come up with uh, I'll show you guys after I'm done so be right back all right I kind of realized I could be doing this with you guys to show you guys some designing techniques I guess um, as you can see I already got the dining table laid out I got these kind of like grand chairs around all you have to do for these is just put a slab down put a signs on the side and then I used uh, spruce doors on the back which I think looks great it goes with the table well so it kind of is just like a grand dining hall I kind of like how it turned out um, now I'm trying to decide huh let's see here I want to try that now nah, I want to like I think I want to put plates down so I guess we're going to see which looks better like a stone or a wooden one Uh, I don't know. Tell me, guys, what you think. What looks better? Crap. I can't. This is hard. 
You know, I'm going to go with stone because there's so much wood already going on in here right now. There's no wood, so yeah, I'm going to go with stone on that. Um, my chest is getting full, my inventory is getting full here. <laughs> um, now let's just go ahead and make a few, how many more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. All right. <laughs> and then there's a few other things I want to do. Um, such as like designing on the walls in here and whatnot. So let's just go ahead and put these down. These are obviously representing plates. And then I think I want to put some of these in the middle. Um, one there, one there, and one there. I want a tall flower in the middle. I got these when I was adventuring. Uh, we haven't had those, I don't think, yet. I don't think so, at least. And then I also got some tulips. We can put those in the center. Oh, well, that tulip looked like it was freaking out. Yeah, kind of like that. That's a nice little dining hall. Awesome. Kind of gives us a little running space through here. Obviously, this crafting table will not be here. So, anyways, like, this room anyway will be just kind of oh wait a minute i just got a better idea wait <laughs> i i saw this from something i want to try it right now at least i don't know how this will look i'm just giving it a try i know it will probably look stupid where's all my torches oh no no oh we got some in here we're good <laughs> these are like these could be used as like candles i think well, of course they are, but there and there. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, yeah, I kind of like that a little bit better. Maybe we can put some flower pots in between, maybe? I think that'll look pretty good. Um, yeah, just right there and there. And then we can just do the tulips again. Oh, yeah, I like that a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we're going to have to find a way to light the rest of this up. Um, I need to decide what I want to do with these. I got some shelving techniques and whatnot, um, but I don't want to make you guys sit through that, of course. Um, I want to try one like a corner shelf, kind of like that. That yeah, looks all right. I don't know. I'm going to have to mess around with it a bit. Usually when I do this kind of stuff, I have to spend a while doing it and I don't know I'll just show you guys what it looks like afterwards all right so I think it turned out just fine I added some details in of course and uh, I'll just show you what I did kind of I just added these bushes into the side all I did was add grass block trap doors and then it's pretty basic and I added this neat little shelf design um, I don't know it just looks like you could place something on the inside I wish you could but uh, it don't matter <laughs> and then um Obviously, the ceiling was very bland, and I can't do much with it, considering that ceiling right there is the next floor, which is one thing I never plan out, which should be something very planned out. I always, normally, if I make a two-story house, I try to make uh, the ceiling right there, and then the next floor will have an extra block up here, so this will be this floor level right here, so you would have room to do like a design on each one. Um, but I didn't think that well <laughs> through too well, so I just threw some like different colored slabs across there as if it looks like supports. Um, again on this side, I just added like a little table there. But yeah, I think this room turned out just fine. Tell me guys what you think. Um, I might get rid of this ladder. I might, I might actually just put it somewhere else in here. I don't know. Yeah, I like it. It's just a nice little dining room, of course. Um, we got many, many other rooms to work on in this house, um, such as... Mainly the survival lab, just all throughout, like, maybe that area. The second floor, the third floor there. These two rooms are still not even, they don't even have any, like, purpose yet. They're just there. <laughs> um, and then, of course, our bedroom. I want to design that, too. As you can see, I've been starting to add leaves on there. But I don't have many leaves, so I'm going to have to go out and gather some. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the question of the day. Okay, so, Hunter Bowley asks, or Bowley I think it's Bowley. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, he says, if I could sum up my building style in three words, what would it be? Um, I actually sat here for a second trying to think. It is very hard. Um, one is random. I know that for sure. If that is a building style. I mean, 
I don't know what to put my house. Like, when you say building style, I guess, like, just in random words. So I'm going to use one random because, of course, I just, I don't really plan it out. I just kind of build it. Well, I do plan it out, but I just, yeah, I just look at it and decide. Um, So random, green, no, <laughs> not green. Uh, I don't know, like, stylish maybe? Because... I mean, that's kind of weird to say about your own place, but honestly, I haven't seen many other people's places like this before. No, wait, no, more like different. I'll put random, different, and I'm trying to think of a word that has to do with like a swampy house, because as you can see, as you guys know, I say this many times, like it's kind of stilted a bit as if a flood could come through and I'll still be good to go. So how about different, no, random, different, and prepared. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know the third one. I guess just uh, cool. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that is that. Um, now, oh my gosh, can you believe it's episode 91 right now? We got nine more episodes till download, guys. That is crazy. And I will be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to get all these projects done. Mainly, be, it, it may seem like I'll have enough time to do all these projects, but in between each time I cut the video, like to do something, I don't have much time in between those times and let me tell you it takes a long time to do stuff such as like the train station here I, I have to do some lots of work up there and just finish like closing up all these gaps and whatnot this place has a lot of work to do um, so probably big projects like that I'm just gonna leave for you guys to have fun with maybe um, in the download so uh, I, as I said I won't be able to get all these done I really want to get the library done and the survival lab done before download so survival lab will be probably the last one we work on like on episode 98 or 99 um but yeah other than that uh i don't know what else what the <sighs> you guys know how long this has been here every time i edit my video i'm like oh my gosh i forgot to take those down again it's been like 60 episodes and I'm like, dang it, I forgot again. And I finally remember it. These pink blocks right here. <laughs> a long, 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 and I mean very long time ago. Let me go take those down. Uh, I was building, let me just show you real quick. I was building onto my house, you know, the little bridge area. And is it this floor? Yeah, I think it is. I was building this area on. That was a long time ago. And, oh, wait. Oh, no, it's up one more floor. Dang it. <laughs> and I, I was trying to get across, and I just used those for, like, uh, like scaffolding, and I never, ever took them down. I like having these random trap doors here. I even added one right here that goes down to my bed real quick. I like having trap doors. All over. This one was here for a long time. This is just to get out here in case anything happens. Um, yeah. Oh, these, I, I kind of don't want to get rid of them just because they've been here so long. But I kind of have to because... Oh, wait. Mm, I don't know. All right. It's time to go, guys. You've been there for... Oh, how do I get back? Dang it, you got the best of me. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Well, now we're up here. Um, oh, wait. Can you get through here? No. I really want to change that uh, staircase design right there, too. There's a lot of stuff I want to change through here. And see these right here? Oh, man, we really need to do that before download as well. Let me get these blocks. Ah, okay. I think I have some of them building supplies on me. I just... Okay, these things right here. See these? I've, I've mentioned this before. This upside down stairs and then the the fence and then normal stairs. See that cool little design I did? It kind of gives like a weird like Asian or Japanese type feel to it for some reason. Do you guys get that feeling too? Because I, I, I don't know why. But I still need to do it all the way up there and all throughout the rest of the house. I never did. I'm trying to sit here and picture it. I think it will actually just sit here and look at it. This, uh, that little section right there looks very detailed and nice, and the rest of it looks bland. I think if I add those details throughout the rest of this house, it'll make it pop so much more. I really think it would, and I think I'm going to do that. Um, it's going to be a lot of work. I never did it because look how high it is. I'll have to get some major scaffolding going, and uh, it was just very hard work to get these going right here. And these right here. These were kind of just like little work I did I think it turned out nice um, you know what cows I think it's time to slay some of you you guys have lived your life long enough 
I'm basically just doing this because I really need leather. Oh, oh, this isn't a looting sword. Dang it. I probably won't get much leather out of this. Uh, is that enough? I'll keep a few of them, of course. So here's one, two, three, four, five. Well, there's like five. Okay. How much did I get? 18 leather? That's not bad. All right. I got a good food supply, too. But, yeah, that'll be it for today, guys. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Oh, I forgot to add that support. God, there's so, I, I just need to start writing everything down. There's so much I need to do. Oh, I just can't remember it all. But, uh, yeah, that'll be it for today, as I said. And um, like the video if you like the dining room. I hope it inspires you to do the same because I'm going to sit down here and have a nice little snack. You can also use these signs and put trap doors here as well. They look nice as well, but... Actually, I need to sit on the end. This is my house. Yeah, yeah, that'll be it. And I, oh, pff, crap, I forgot. Also, <laughs> I, I keep trying to say something before I end the episode. I was going to put cakes right here, too. But I didn't get around to it because I didn't look for supplies. I'll do that right in the beginning of next episode. If I forget, you better tell me. Okay, <laughs> enough blabbering. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. And bye-bye.